I am uh, somewhere in Budapest. Uh, where? What is the name of this place? Lou. I'm at the octagon, and we're at. It's the area, but I'm at this uh, supposedly famous restaurant called. I'm still at this restaurant, and I decided to order um, steak. It was pretty good. I've also got some good food over here. Some goose liver. Very unhumanitarian. Is that true? When in Rome, it's Hungarian style. I had to try it. Humanitarian. Isn't it like what you torture ducks or something? Goose liver. You overfeed them, right? Honestly. Is it foie gras? I'm using all foie gras. Is that what this is? No. Oh, that's not what this is? Ah, yeah. Yes, it is. Well, it's not like my cow was uh, slaughtered any more humanely. <laughs> so we're done with dinner and walking around uh, this octagon place in Budapest. And we found quite an interesting opera house. Oh man, I don't know how to show this to you. Look at the stuff on the ceiling. It's awesome, right? I could paint that totally. And right around the corner, there's a Sphinx. So, that's cool. I've stumbled upon this basilisk, basilisk church. And it's pretty massive. I'm gonna give you an idea how big this is once I get down here. Uh, Okay, so, look, look, I still can't see the whole thing. Probably never gonna see the whole thing with a lens. The bells are ringing. So Lou Charmel just pointed out to me that on the ceiling of this church are the zodiac signs, which, was, uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, but those are not Christian. See that? Zodiac signs. Now as the sun sets, you can see that church a little bit better. It's very nice looking. And thousands of miles from home, there is still a California coffee company. Now it looks like I can't get away from that driver, Vasily. We're now at a pub. Um, I don't know what the name of it is, but look, they sell things that you normally find at a pub. Uh, Vasily is going to meet us here. Still with Lou, and uh, Lily is in the bathroom. Look who it is, I like it Vasily. No He's here with Lou. <laughs> oh, hey, I and, forgot it's reverse camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. Say hello. You haven't been in my iPhone videos too much yet. Not too much, just like looking terrible. Yeah, well, dinner. she's been working a lot and stuff. Put on your theory. I'm face. so angry. Look, watch this. <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> Look how it does. I'm so angry. <laughs> Wait, we're here at, um, oh, no. where are we? I don't even know. It doesn't matter at this point. We're at a bar. We're at a bar. Bye. Is this Crystal? Yes. She speaks as well? Yeah. Who speaks as well? The giraffe. The giraffe. How many, how much money did you spend on the these giraffe. apps? Oh, just one book. What? No. They're free? No, that's, they're not. that's cheap for a floor, but one book. What? The giraffe. How many Florence is that? <laughs> Wait, they still down. haven't taken my money. I'm not, paying. Not even thinking for weeks. Florence, <laughs> did you know that 55,000 Florence are $265? $265 and something cents. The more you know. Anyway, we're back in the car with. I love it. Don't judge me. He says he doesn't drive as fast when it's. Uh, it's not working. I came to Spain and I saw people partying. I thought to myself, what the fuck? All day, all night. Yeah. Hold on. At the uh, gas station here in Budapest. Ah, wait, how do you see that? You see, there are fire extinguishers just in case we blow up. I'm here, I think, at some place called Heroes Place or Heroes Square. You'll see all these statues of horses and men riding on them. From a distance, I thought this might have been uh, the same place that they took the pictures for that Neurosis album cover, but I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to look at it. Um, 
maybe I'm completely wrong because I thought they had like antlers or something in that cover, but this is still pretty cool. I like this guy. He looks very tough. And look at those guys holding hands on their horses. They were so civil back in the 1300s. Look who it is. This place is so cool, I love it. Me too. It looks like they're actually like flying off their beaches. Where is that? Up top. See that everybody? On the way to the baths, I have come across this interesting pond or lake where they have lots of fun things floating in the water. Like cars or art pieces or Whatever else you see out there. I am silhouetted, but as you can see behind me, there are some baths. They're called the Sheshni Baths. And uh, I'm about to go in them. And maybe you'll see me there, but maybe they'll take my camera away. Who can say? There's so many baths in here. Just past a lukewarm bath. I'm going into this new bathroom. Oh my god. There's outside baths and inside baths. I think this is the biggest bathhouse maybe in Europe, but definitely in Budapest. And I can't pronounce the name. I just want to say that I encourage him to get those nice man shorts he's wearing. And I have to say you fit right in, don't you? Yeah, yeah, and now isn't it free and breezy? Well, they're like a little more. I, I like it. So the girls have been getting a massage for the past hour. And I've been uh, almost falling asleep in this pool back here. It's actually quite nice. All the all the baths are very warm, uh, except for one in that building over there. It's freezing, and I've yet to gain the courage to jump in, but I imagine after like a hot sauna or something, that could be quite nice. <laughs> I like it. That is all I have to say right now. Very slow. As I take a quick break to exercise in Budapest, I just want to point out how much nicer this gym is than any 24-hour fitness I've ever been at in the United States, particularly in Koreatown. Our shit is fucking dirty. It's kind of nice. You can't see me probably, but you can see the Danube River. We're looking for. Marguerite Island, but we can't find it, so... Margaret? They say Margaret Seagit! Mar Margaret Seagit. So apparently that island was right in front of us, and now we're crossing this bridge. So that we can go there. I don't know what's there. Something. As you can see by the sign over there, we found the island. Look at this sculpture! Looks like a hat, kind of. There's also this fountain on the island that explodes sometimes. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. I was headed to this museum to see Michael uh, Boroman's art. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um, on the way I got a ticket for not having a ticket on the bus. So I had to pay something like 6,000 florins, which I think is around like $30, I'm not entirely sure, but that was a bummer. However, the art was all worth it. <laughs>